Thank you for joining us on Lawrence Tech Sports Network. We're here with Andy Richards, head coach of the women's soccer team, as they prepare for their opening game this afternoon at 3 o'clock against Detroit Mercy. How's preseason been so far? Good. Uh, it's been long and hot. We uh, managed to survive it, I think. We've uh, played our second scrimmage game on Sunday against Tiffin University. We've got a, a well-fought 3-3 tie out of that. Um, so that was fun to get back on the field again. And as you say, today is our first counting game. Uh, at Detroit Mercy. We, we've been through quite a lot already in the three weeks of preseason. We had a number of injuries actually at the beginning of the year and we were a little light on numbers but we're, we're gradually getting people back and we're only probably two players um, shy of having everyone, have everyone back on the field so it's been quite the journey so far. How have the newcomers done as they've transitioned from wherever they were before, if it's high school or another uh, institution and just coming to Lawrence Tech and how they uh, Ben and talk about them very, very well as a group I mean it's it's not just what they're doing on the field it's the social side and how everything fits together that's what helps make a great team and from that perspective it's been really good um, it's they're a little untested right now the freshmen because they've only played one two scrimmage games and a number of them missed out on that because of injury so we'll see um, Alexis Barnes has been the one who's pushed her way into the starting line right from the start she's done a terrific job and scored two goals actually in the scrimmage game on Sunday against Tiffin. But we expect to see a number of the other freshmen um, stepping in and, and starting to starting to feature, as I say, when they get back from injury and just finding their way into their team. And They've got a fight on their hands as well because you've got a number of talented returners who are wanting to hold on to their spot. But uh, the competition is going to be great for us and that's going to help us be successful as we move forward. Speaking of the returners, how did they do over summer and as they came into camp and preparing and just to lead this team uh, after such a great season last year? Very good. M much fitter than last year as a team. Obviously last year we didn't have a coach, didn't have a summer training program, didn't have anybody telling them what to do or to lead them. Uh, this summer was much better as a group. There are some individuals who have really stepped it up and, and done fantastic. We had a beat test the other night and Ali Naibar was the, was the last one running and perhaps could have gone another level if we'd have, if we'd have chased her, but she's, she's set, the, set the standard from that perspective. Um, there's some that are still going to work on their fitness, that's true for every team, but as a group, much fitter and, and, um, and much better prepared this year than last. As I say, the health part is the thing we're concerned about. A few people with injuries that um, they came to camp with or just picked up, and it's, it's part, of the, part of the story, but hopefully we're getting people back and we can move forward. And as we begin our uh, season today at 3 o'clock down in Detroit against uh, the Titans of Detroit Mercy, talk about our non-conference schedule um, this season. Mm. Well, obviously today is going to be a real challenge. It's a Division One opponent, so we know we're, we're facing something that's going to be quite a test for us today. But it's, it's there for a reason, to, to test us and to see if we can get something out of it and learn some things not just about ourselves but about our opponent and also how we prepare for big games. If... Uh, if we're going to do as well this season as we want to, we're going to be playing some big games at the end, perhaps in postseason play or even in the national tournament if we were fortunate enough to get that far. So we have to prepare ourselves and that's what today is about. Um, after that, we play Ohio Christian on Saturday of, of this week, uh, a program we've never played before. So again, it's it's another test because we're going into the games a little blind and trying to figure out what other teams have to offer against us. Um, after that, we're playing um, Cleary, who we played last year, we're playing Heidelberg from Ohio. Um, we're on the road at um, Spring Arbor playing in their tournament. That's going to be a great weekend playing against Mount uh, Vernon Nazarene and also Spring Arbor, who were the national champion runner up last year. So <laughs> we've got a real mix. We've, we're really going to test the team this year with some of our games. So um, but that, that's what it's for. That's why, that's why you want to play for the exciting big ones. And those games will kind of help lead into a strong whack season right now. Um, in the coaches' poll, they have us in fourth, which is uh, they've taken notice after what we did last year mm -hmm. in the uh, on the field. So, uh, talk about the conference schedule and the conference in a whole. As uh, you know, we prepare to try to battle for a uh, conference title and a tournament berth. Sure, I mean the fact that we've been ranked fourth. I think that's um, it's a it's a compliment <laughs> in many respects. It tells it tells us some people have respected what we've done last year. Um, but, but it really means nothing. Being ranked fourth in the conference doesn't give you an extra goal a game or three points in the bag at the start of the season. It just shows that people have noticed you. 
and, and our part of that uh, job is to not disappoint anyone and, and show that we're just as uh, strong and see if we can take another step forward this year. Uh, the WAC is going to be um, a challenge, I'm, I'm sure of it. We've lost Davenport, but we, uh, we've got some very good teams out there and a couple of coaching changes and some programs too. Um, so we'll, be, we'll have to be wary of everybody. Every game is going to be a battle and we're going to live up to the expectation of others. We're going to have to really do well for ourselves. Uh, all right, Coach, thanks for joining us today on the Lawrence Tech Sports Network. Good luck. Thanks, Jake.